Hi and welcome, welcome for a very interesting ASMR old map study. This map is in Latin, in Latin language. So, here on the side, on the extremities, there is the Roman wall. The city was surrounded with a fortified wall meant to defend the city against the outside attacks. Right outside there is a guest room, prae torium. Well, guest room because it's a guest room means it's a temple, a religious temple. Yeah, and nearby this vivarum. Well, vivarum, it's the refer to, um, I don't know how to explain, an enclosed area more where the animals were kept, more like, uh, um, more like a zoo or something, but not a zoo, it's an enclosed area. Uh, back then this have been used for hunting or public spectacles with animals. And here it's a road from this Putina, this Tiputina, Tiputina, a road that enters the city and it splits into Achels, Tarconi, Sufea, I don't know what this means, um, and I don't know how authenticate are the names. Umi Nalis, Umi Nalis. Well, what I can see is that the buildings are very nice shown on the map. I don't know if they were in reality in the same shape and with the same architecture. Terme Diocletiani. Well, Terme, oh, Terma, Terma. Well, Terma means bath, public baths, because back then uh, they didn't have particular or private baths, so only public baths were available. And this Terme Diocletiani, it's one of the largest and most famous public baths in ancient Rome. Because it could accommodate thousands of people. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay, 
we have here another Timeve Minerve Minerve Medica Minerve Medica and this is a famous landmark well in translations means Minerva the doctor well and only the ruins remain today of this well I, I think that was or a temple or an film uh, back then let's move a little bit down well the writings are too small to read here so only uh, only the text to have a clue how small its writings are. This is the original size of the map. We have an aqueduct, so this aqueduct that it's coming from outside. Uh, was famous. The Roman architects were famous to transport water over long distances. And here it's connecting with a building which looks more like a water storage place. Water storage place and a church nearby. On the top left corner, the top right corner, we have an amphitheater. It looks like a Colosseum, but it's not the Colosseum. It's another amphitheater. And... Some buildings nearby. Well, here in the... North, northern part, it's the uh, hip hypodrome. Well, hypodrome, well, animal, uh, mostly horse uh, racings were held. Hypodrome, one of them, because it's not the only one in Rome. Here it's one of the Bruce River affluence, I think, which is entering here, one of the hills of the Rome, and here it's the, it's the famous fortified wall. And if we move a little bit in the center, we have the one of the amphitheater. I don't know if it's Colosseum, looks like Colosseum, because it's the uh, largest in terms of size of it, both can be the Colosseum. Yes, it is, I think. Well... And... Nearby... There are... Very interesting... Buildings... And every area has its name. Velia... Fiasca... Palatinos, 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 Piscina Publica. Look here, we have a public, another public path, let's say Piscina Publica. 
and Circus Maximus, which looks like a hypodrome with a oval shape racing line, racing track, but it's Circus Maximus, which is famous, famous, was famous, and only some ruins remain today. Another small nympho temple here, and here I have on the Tiber River and the Emporium, Emporium. Well, Salina. I think Salina means something related to salt, but I don't know if this is a public health place where you can uh, have salt uh, vapors, or it's only the name. Down we have some small boats, sailing boats on the Tiber River, deeper river. The, here it's a residential area, large residential area, um, a neighborhood, a big neighborhood. You may see that here, they are not labeled. So this definitely must be a residential area from then. Now in the center we have another amphitheater, let's zoom in, uh, amphitheater, Theater Marcel, Marcel, it looks like a Colosseum shape building looks like, but it resembles only that it's a smaller one. And another circus, circus, right, here it's the mine square, the capital, Capitolium. And here it's the Mine Palace. Well, so this is the public central area. And uh, we have a small pond. It's with M. Mar, but it's not Mar, it's a lake, it's a pound. Achitorius, Achitorius. Villa Flamina. Villa Flamini, Via Flamini, sorry, Via Flamini. Via means root, road. Another Circus, yeah, Circus Neronis. Well, Nero, maybe it's come from the Nero name, which was an em Roman Emperor. Nero, Circus Neronis. And Porta Castelli, another gate for the outside, which connects the outside of the room with the inside area. Porta Palati, Porta Palati. And uh, we have very nice shown some bridges over Tiber River. Porta Torini, Torionis, here in the south, I don't know where it, in this area. Well, 
here. I don't know where are. This looks more like some fields. Uh, I don't know if they are agricultural or not. And this building, Trinitas, I don't know what means. It's Temple of Trinity. Temple in Trinity. Trinita. It's a temple. Or this one, it's a temple. Ah, okay, I can I have no clue. Well, Hippodromus. Well, here it's another hypodrome, but it doesn't look like. And Nord Salustiani. I don't know what this is. Thalia, this is the real Palatinus. Oh, the central area. Mal Ventis, Piscina Publica, Coelius, Aqua Clavdia, Aqua Clavdia, yes. Well, Aqua Clavdia, Claudia. Well, is an ancient room. This is the epiduct, one of the parts of the epiduct which carried water into the city. So this is part of this build, this uh, construction. This will be the main source for beds, fountains and even homes. Right. Here we have the Colosseum again. Well, let's identify something. Well, it's just a moment. Okay. There are too many descriptions here that uh, I cannot. All right, here it's the Trion's Columns, one of the most famous landmarks in Rome. The Column of Trion. Which, by the way, was raised by the Emperor Trion after he won the war against the Dacians in 106. 106. Okay, I don't know what this building resembles. And maybe Wow Orea Domiziani Very odd looking so well, this building, it looks odd. I don't know if it's uh, historical, shown, depicted, but Horeum, it's a spice warehouse, mostly used as a warehouse of spies. So, here, yeah, the harvests were stored. stored. Nearby we have another Therma Antoniani this time. So another public path. Well, plenty of uh, churches. Well, I think Rome has more than 800 churches, if I'm not mistaken. 
and basilicas. Well, what we have here, we identified it's the Ark, the Triumph Arch from Rome. It's smaller and looks like the the Arc de Triomphe from Paris, but this is from Rome. Arc Triumph Arch. Some churches. A jazz. I wish you all the best.